Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry if I... Ah, I don't look too bad. I was putting my kid down for a nap and I fell asleep too, so I took a little nap. Uh, we're gonna pull some orders and kind of look at what's going on here around the shop today. Let's go. World of Wonders. Or what's it called? Is that right? World of Wonders. Yeah, that was right. Okay. And then I'm posting these parts currently. Not that. I don't know why that's sitting there. But somebody grab that. Um, and then from yesterday's garage sale video, somebody snatched that up already. And that's a, to a viewer. That goes out to uh, Rare Pleb. They say, just bought your tie striker on eBay. Come on eBay, keep up the good videos. Thanks, man. That's awesome. I always... I'm a little, I'm always flabbergasted. Um, I'll find some extra stuff to throw in there for you. And thank you so much. That is so cool uh, of you to do that. Maleficent sold. Uh-oh. Where did they go? There we go, that looks better. Somebody snatched up, I think the last one of these. Let me double check. I may not look like I just woke up, but I'm being clumsy like I just woke up. Yes, that was the last one. So glad those are finally gone. I've had those a long, long time. Somebody picked one of these up from yesterday's video too, which happened a lot faster than I expected it would. Um, so one left of those, that's cool. One last thing, shipping out today is all of these Covenant vehicles. They're going out. And that was paid off a long time ago, so that is all proof it. So I've been keeping an eye on the comments on yesterday's video coming in where uh, I, I brought up channel memberships and I'm thinking about doing it. And I, I really want to take your all's opinions into play. So uh, some interesting ones came in, like Alex said, uh, membership is great for anyone that wants it. Just be sure to not take away from the core that don't. Um, <clears throat> that's my primary concern is I don't want it to feel like I'm not putting effort into my non-paying members. Really, it's just be like, I would think of it as an additional product. Like if I offered t-shirts and hats, like, it, it's up to you if you want them, right? Um, the Lego that I post and other stuff that I post, it's up to you if you want them. So a membership would be like, hey, here's this other thing I'm offering. Um, if you want it, cool. If not, that's cool too. No expectations. Like I said, it's like the expectation aspect of it is what has what um, is what has kept me away from doing it is I never want to feel like there's an expectation that you guys have to spend money to enjoy these videos. Uh, Ian says, I'm a bad person to ask about memberships. I'm strictly here for free content. I mean, I get it. I don't pay for any memberships. Um, the only one I've ever come close to considering doing something like that is the Corridor Crew channel. If you don't know them, they're super, super cool. Um, anyways, that's not what this is about. Um, Josh says, personally, I don't do memberships or, or whatever it's called on YouTube. Nothing against you. I just don't like the way YouTube does it. I mean, I'm not, it's a hefty chunk that YouTube takes out of a, out of a membership. The alternative is to do something like Patreon, but that to me just feels like this other thing I have to keep up with. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I feel more strongly about still doing it than not doing it because of what I said to Alex's comment of it's just another product I offer and there's no expectations and um, you wouldn't be missing out on extra videos or things like that. Like, I don't want to do that. I'd want it to be, uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. I am very conscious slash aware of uh, my YouTube channel is where it is now because of your old support and I don't want to ever f I don't want you guys to ever feel like I take you for granted or I'm trying to take advantage of your wallets or anything like that like I want the I want the quality of the content to remain the same and keep getting better uh, 
without the expense of um, alienating myself. Here are all the minifigures. Going in the Brick Lake store right now. Actually, they were just posted and now I need to put them away. Very neat. Some of you eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that that is empty. Those were where the banker's boxes were. These are the last two left. And this has even become like a catch for new stuff coming in. So it's gonna be empty this week is the goal. But this one's almost empty. I think I'm just gonna get rid of these Star Trek ones. Uh, nobody seems to want them. So I maybe I should try posting them individually. I think I had them as a lot. And yeah, it's just kind of random stuff in here. Some of it just needs to get donated. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then this. Most of this will get reposted, I think. I can get tossed now because we already know that thing situation. So cool. It's nice to almost be done with this project. I think I still have some stuff chilling in here too. Yeah, not so much. Not so much stuff. We're getting close. This is the stuff I'm going to repost right now. This Pokemon thing. Um, this Hulk. Actually, I should see if he works. Yeah, he works. This Lego poly bag, this guy, and then this Halo playset. Had two more sales come in, both viewers, that highly relate to a comment that just came in on uh, on yesterday's video. First one is the Moss Isley Cantina. And I did send him a message saying, hey, just making sure you saw Greedo's arm is cracked. He said, yep, no problem. Let me find your message. It's going out to Brad. He says, thanks for the good price on the set. I've always wanted it. It's a set I've always wanted. I enjoy watching your videos and keep up the great content you put out. Thanks, Brad. Of course, extra stuff will get thrown in there for you. And then the other one is our returning buyer. This is going out to Tanner. Tanner has been through multiple times. Tanner is a good, good dude. His enthusiasm is contagious on the Discord server. If you're not on the Discord server, uh, you're welcome to join. I'll have to close it up one day as it gr grows and get a little more picky about who joins, but it's fun over there. People have um, people have questions about BrickLink. We just, we share Lego updates. It's, it's just a good time. Uh, so I mentioned that those are in relation to a couple comments that came in. Um, a couple comments are like, uh, couple from Canada, one from the UK are like, I would love to like financially support you just like but buying something. The shipping is like outrageous. And I understand that. Um, import fees and all that jazz. Um, it, the general consensus seems to be that not any of you do them. <laughs> any of you do the uh, channel memberships anywhere. Uh, one very interesting one, I'll try to summarize it. Uh, it's from Red Kansas and Red Kansas, he, he always has something very positive to say. So when he doesn't have something positive to say about something, I, I stop and really like listen to what he has to say. Um, he says he's been a part of couple, but they, it, it always ends up ruining the vibe that the channel has going on, which is something I'm concerned about, obviously. Um, cause they, they end up like trying to sell the memberships. He mentioned like creating a cast system of different levels and people lorded over each other, which is not something I would have control over necessarily, uh, how people behave based off of how much they pay. But I could see that being a true thing. He made the point of like, if people really want to financially support you, there's always super chats, uh, which is true. Um, I guess the downside of a super chat is it's not transactional, at least with the membership, it's transactional. So like they give me money and they get something in return. Uh, if they buy a Lego set, they get a Lego set, right? Uh, so I, I get what you're saying there. 
Uh, it's definitely made me like stop and think twice about some things. Um, like, why don't I just create a YouTube code in the comments for a, a discount? So anyway, that's where my head's at right now. So thank you all for your honesty. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't want to do anything that would alienate you guys. Or I, I think I've said all this before, so I don't need to reiterate it. But uh, we're building something cool here. You know, I, I know I get like most of the financial benefit from that, but uh, I want this to be a place where you feel comfortable, a place where you feel relaxed, um, and you guys are a part of that. And if I alienate you guys, then it all falls apart. So I want to make sure uh, the community continues to grow in a healthy, productive way where people give each other advice on how to run a Brickling store and uh, also a healthy place for those who just like seeing what Lego I get. So I want to want to be real careful about that. So I'll continue to think about it, continue to throw comments in, and uh, it's all just informative at this point. So who knows what will happen? I'll catch you all next time. Bye.